The Danish city of Aarhus is probably the only place in the world with a permanent rainbow. Here, on the rooftop of the local art museum. It's both architecture and a work of art. Entitled Your Rainbow Panorama, it's a creation by the Danish Icelandic light artist Olafur Iliasson. He's known the world over for his works that create optical illusions that sometimes even confuse the artist himself. Up to the opening today, the inauguration, I have been so obsessed with the practicalities that I have almost become blind. Certainly I've become colorblind, that's for sure, but I've just also, in a way, become numb. And then when the first people start to come in, I can somehow look over their shoulders and I'm looking for what do they see? And I go, oh, now I can see again. And I'm, so today it's, it's a chance for me to regain vision and to somehow see why did I start this in the first place? The Aris Art Museum is one of the best known in Scandinavia. Now it has an added attraction with the 50 meter high rainbow. Made out of 116 panels of glass in 42 colors, the 150 meter circular walkway provides a panoramic view over the city. Your senses are much more than just the eyes. The eyes support and they help other senses, but we should also hear the space, we should also see with our skin, we should see with our body. And in that way, the rainbow, I think, is liberating, but obviously also the rainbow is also a stigma that, that somehow it represents everything. But the truth is, we don't live in concepts, I think. We have to live with actions. If we don't do anything, we cannot change anything. The rainbow costs nearly 8 million euros and marks the final stage of building work on the museum. It fits the building perfectly, and this circle symbolizes eternity, symbolizes heaven, and the square of the building symbolizes earth and the very static element. So this combination is, I think, in itself very genius. The museum building opened in 2004. Its design derives from Dante's Divine Comedy. The stairway behind me is just like a human spiral, and it's a connection between hell and heaven. You know, Dante described uh, he is walking up the purification mountain, and this is you. You walk up here towards heaven. In the basement, the nine rooms. In Dante's poem, this level symbolizes hell. Along with a variety of video installations and works by other renowned artists, one of the nine rooms is home to a 2003 installation by Eliasson called Surroundings. Being in the basement is, is clearly quite funny, as I'm also on the roof. And um, my little work here in the basement also plays with mirror in a way that it seemingly suggests that there is another basement even further down, which might not be accessible physically, uh, at least. <laughs> One floor higher is a sculpture by Australian artist Ron Mook, titled Boy. One of the best known works in the collection. And continuing upwards, there are more temporary exhibitions of Danish art from the past two centuries. But the main attraction is at the very top. Your Rainbow Panorama. The word your is a meaningful part of the name. Your Rainbow Panorama, to some extent, indicates that there is an element of a subject as well, that your individual way of using it makes it unique to you. A rainbow that's always illuminated, even at night.